Alright guys, welcome back to another Honkai Star Wheel video and yeah guys, finally we have our first ever event in Honkai Star Wheel, it's gonna be coming very soon. So this is the Boulder Town Super League event, if you guys remember if you watched the dev live stream, they did show it a bit. So this is the first event that's gonna be coming on actually tomorrow, which is 19th of May at 10am and it will last until June 6th. So that is very very cool. And uh, this is a time limited event looks like obviously you need to uh, complete a set amount of challenges uh, I believe every day there will be a new challenge So that's something to take off and these are some of the rewards you're gonna get I'm very excited for this because I'm actually really lacking uh, some of the materials like credits uh, even some of the travel guides Lost Gold Fragments actually almost all the items I really need all these resources because it's just very limited now for me especially with all the characters I'm gonna ascend uh, to level 60 it takes a lot and imagine going to 70 will get even more and more longer so I think this event is really really nice to have and it's uh, something I'm looking forward to actually tomorrow but anyway uh, to get to this event obviously you need to be TL21 so make sure you are Trailblaze level 21 and above and then complete the missions ring and stage 1 and 2 and gladiator so all these missions are related with Boulder Town so you're just gonna complete everything uh, then you should be able to uh, join this event so that's pretty nice so the event details over here uh, pretty much as I said uh, it's a time, time limited event so there's a standard event where you can challenge 5 matches each containing 4 fights so after the trade religion choose and join the match the enemy lineup will be selected at random and provided different buffs to the traveler upon defeat pass the match for the first time and receive the standard rewards and for the time limited event uh, Super League will also host the time limited number of rounds traveler spends to finish each fight will be recorded so the faster you finish the fight the more rewards you'll get so there are two different kind of slides so the standard event you'll get uh, the standard rewards uh, for the time limited event you get the extra ones looks like so you can see over here these are the extra ones these are the standard ones so yeah pretty straightforward uh very excited for this event it's not gonna lie and uh, i believe there's two more events coming but they haven't posted it yet i think it's still too early but uh yeah that's pretty much it for boulder town super league so now let us move on to the another post they have also posted around the same time this dropped uh this is the voice of the galaxy basically this is just the devs q a session so if you scroll down they, they will just mention like some of the questions they were asked and some of the answers they've given us so pretty much uh, it's like Genshin's death Q&A so this is the Honkai version so why can't I chat my friends after I added them I want a chat system so this was this one was pretty much left out uh, in also in Genshin's version 1.0 I just realized and they, did, they added it in 1.1 and same goes for Honkai Star Wars, they also didn't add that feature in 1.0, so looks like in version 1.1 uh, we'll get a chat system implemented to the game which is actually very very handy because it's a bit weird, you can't chat your friends, you saw them online but uh, you can't chat with them, so yeah it's pretty weird but finally they're gonna add it in version 1.1 which is what I wanna see and that is impressive finally so right, moving on to the next question, this one is pretty, uh, you can say, depends on your preference to be honest. Uh, Silas Ultimate has too much flashy effects, it hurts my eyes after seeing a lot of times, can it be optimized? For me personally, I didn't have this issue, maybe it's those people with uh, a lot of, uh, too much light on for them maybe, in maybe in such a certain environment, maybe in the dark area, they could be quite annoying, but if you're playing in a light area, maybe this shouldn't be an issue. But anyway, they are working on it, looks like, to optimize this and they plan to add relevant options in the game settings for trailblazers to personalize this parameter. So I think this is going to be a graphics option where you can tune the contrast or the brightness of the game. Uh, something like Genshin Impact implemented last time, remember? People were complaining it was just too bright or something and same goes for this game as well. So they would not be able to edit version 1 for 1 unfortunately, so I think probably in a future version down the line. So yeah. Next one is, it's so difficult to find monsters that drop character essential materials on the world map. Is it possible to mark them on the map? No problem in version 1.1, travelers can click on sources to see the location of the corresponding enemies on the map. So this one I also noticed is a missing thing because in Genshin Impact, they kind of added this later on. So in Honkai Style, they don't have it in this version. So it looks like they're going to add it as well for uh, version 1.1. When you click on the source of the item, uh, it will point you to the monster, I think nearest monster, I guess, in the map. 
uh, then you can go and farm it from there so yeah i think that's pretty handy to do it in the next version which is very nice uh, the next one in the sancho storyline the content related to sanctus medicus seems really abrupt and forced so i'm not sure who asked this actually but uh for me it wasn't really an issue but anyway let's take a look after assessing feedback from travel places the crew decided that the current placement of the sanctus and medicus missions in the story will negatively impact the overall narrative experience therefore in future updates the crew will adjust the quest structure and alter all trail based missions related to sanctus medicus into adventure missions uh, trail racers will be able to uh, explore freely and complete these missions please stay tuned for more user patch notes in future update announcements looks like this one probably won't be implemented in version 1.1 but at least they are taking note of it and they're going to implement it in the next future versions which is very nice and the last one this one is not a major thing uh, i think it's just a minor thing but why do all the characters have the same expressions in camera mode can we mix it up a bit so each character should have unique facial expressions options that fit their personality the crew will make improvements for some characters in the camera mode facial expression feature in version 1.1 and will continue to adjust and optimize this feature in future updates so keep an eye out for the updates so this is uh, i think really personal preference again so yeah they are going to update the camera system looks like for the facial expressions for made some of the characters in the game now and yeah i think that's a pretty nice touch as well i mean some some uniqueness i guess for certain characters depending on your personality i think it's a great touch as well uh in the camera mode so yep but i personally don't really use this feature that much but if you do use it i think this would be a fantastic change because they're gonna implement this in version 1.1 so that is pretty sick as well and that's it for the developers radio so what do you guys think of all the feedbacks and some of the questions that they have grabbed and answered in my opinion i think they could have answered more questions and, and provide more answers but uh yeah this is all we got i guess it is what it is so i'm hoping to see more of this voice of the galaxy post because uh, it's at least it's actually them talking to us basically in a different format like q a format yeah but i obviously hope to see this more because uh a lot of people i guess can give their feedbacks and they can provide the answers and hopefully they will fix some of the issues uh, encountered in the game uh, me personally so far no major issues but from what i can tell if you're a free to play player uh, the resource in this game is very very limited so just be careful for what you're farming it's just very limited uh, for the amount of resources you get again at the moment but probably with this new event maybe it kind of helps it so we'll see when this event drops how it fares but as of now uh, so far no uh, major issues with the game from what i see everything looks to be pretty good so far and i really like this game so yeah pretty nice but you guys that's all for me thank you much for watching and i'll uh, see you guys in the next one peace